Hey everybody, Lucas Hanneman here, and welcome to this week's episode of Guitar Tone Tuesday, which is all about slide guitar in standard tuning. Why use it, when use it, as opposed to alternate tunings or tuning your guitar to an open chord. Now, while I'm thinking about it, don't forget to go down to the description box below. Like, share, subscribe. It really means a lot to the channel. It helps it grow when you guys do that just by leaving a simple like, leaving a nice comment, or sharing the video. So, slide guitar. When people think about slide guitar, they usually think about sounds like this. And I'm a huge fan of that. That's actually a tune I'm working on right now for a duo project I'm doing with my wife, Megan. I love that kind of sound. But why would we use standard tuning as opposed to open G, which is what that is? Well, to me, it's all about practicality. Let me pick up that guitar I was playing in the intro clip. And I'm going to talk to you guys about it. So why would we use standard tuning? Well, to me, the biggest advantage to using standard tuning is that you can use it, use the slide, that is, when the inspiration strikes. You can keep one in your pocket if you're on a gig. I actually have a couple of slides to show you guys today. But yeah, you can keep one in your pocket and when you feel like using it, you can use it, you know? Um, so I, I really enjoy like playing in standard tuning because for one, you can access the chord shapes that you know and love. Albeit, you know, modified sometimes if you've got the slide on your finger. And you can use that slide kind of to accent, you know? Um, I enjoy playing, you know, notes with my fingers when I'm using my slide as a frame of reference for intonation. Um, you know, it's not an excuse, but I, I can't see very well at all. So for me to try to look at the frets is a little bit of a losing game when I'm playing. I've learned that lesson the hard way. So I, I enjoy standard tuning because things are still where, where I expect them to be, you know, and I can just use the slide to move away from the tonal center, um, you know, or, or the, the chord shape that defines the tonal center. Like if it's A, here's A. You know, and I can use the slide to move up the fretboard horizontally. But I always have, you know, my index finger and my middle finger there as a reference point. And I like that. You know, there's a lot of guitar players who play this way. If we if we think about early proponents of slide guitar and standard tuning. I think about people like Dwayne Allman, the, the great, great, great Dwayne Allman, of course, from the Allman Brothers. He played in many tunings, but he, he played a lot in standard tuning. And I also think about George Harrison. He played a lot of those very memorable melodic hooks on, on those Beatles songs and, you know, off of All Things Must Pass and some of his later work were done in standard tuning as well. Um, I am a huge fan of Warren Haynes. He's a great, great guitar player who... I think exclusively plays in standard tuning. And for him, it's one of those things where he likes to be able to pick up the slide when he wants. Jack Pearson is another guy who I actually know from the Nashville area, and he plays in standard tuning a lot as well. And his whole thing is that he doesn't want to have to have a guitar set up for slide. He just likes to have a light touch and pick up the slide and use it, you know? So I really think that's cool. You know, I've written a few tunes, uh, you know, in standard tuning using slide. Uh, there's one. Miss McGrim, you know, which my group, the Lucas Hanneman Express, was really fortunate to receive a, an award for in 2020 at the Maple Blues Awards for our music video for that song. So you guys can check that out on YouTube. But, uh, you know, I like uh, standard tuning because of the fact that it's just convenient. Now, I met a guitar player from a local band here named, uh, the band's called Three Times Lucky, and we, we, we had a, a gig together. 
And I was talking to him because one of my students got this uh, voodoo bone grave digger slide, which is an adjustable slide where you can kind of adjust it on your finger, um, the tightness. And the slide actually doesn't cover your whole finger. It just covers the front of your finger. And he said, hey, I make slides like that, but they're non-adjustable because he said that the adjustment could kind of get in the way, sometimes get caught up on the strings. So he said, uh, he just looked at my hand. He said, hey, I'll make you one. <laughs> and uh, I really appreciated that. So he made me this. Now, if you look at my finger from the front, you can just see a couple little rings here. But here's the slide, right? And it works really well for quite a few reasons, you know. So I'll use this if I'm really wanting to go back and forth a lot. So, I mean, here's the slide. <laughs> Sounds a little different than the glass slide, but it sounds great. Does the slide thing, but here's the cool part. I can do this, where the slide is on the front of my finger, and I can play normal chords. Like if I'm playing in the key of E, I'll, I'll make a loop. Okay, check this out. Whoops, just a second. <laughs> I'll make a loop. So I'm really, really happy with this thing. It's super cool, and it fits my finger like a T. I, I couldn't believe it. He just looked at my hand, and he said, yeah, I'll make one. And then two weeks later, he showed up at my doorstep with this thing. Really cool, you know? So uh, I use that sometimes. I think it's pretty sweet, you know? But even just picking up this, this Dunlop glass slide and, and playing, you know, with it, when I choose to, is a lot of fun. Now, I would say that, you know, in a sense, you're limited by the fact that you're in standard tuning. Um, the interesting thing is that I would say the D string, G string, and B string are similar to how they would be tuned if you were in an alternate tuning, such as open G. In fact, they're the same as they would be in open G, D, G, and B. So you still have access, like if you're playing in the key of G. <laughs> To the, you know, those kinds of sounds. bass notes are where you expect them to be should you choose to play those you know so I really enjoy it of course it's a different sound than the open tuning thing and I'm getting into that now like I said I'm writing a, a couple tunes in in open tuning for slide guitar on this kind of more more rootsy album that I'm doing with my wife uh, but you know I, I do have a soft spot in my heart for standard tuning and slide guitar so let me know do you play slide and if so, are you a proponent of playing in standard tuning? I really think it's a great gateway into slide guitar. You know, if, you, if you're used to playing normal tuning and you want to just be able to pick up a slide guitar, there's no reason why you need a guitar with high action and, you know, a, a different string gauge just to play slide. So that's my opinion. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe once again. We will see everybody again next Tuesday.